They call it the HP ZBook Fury G10. In this video, let's unbox it. This is one of the most powerful 3D modeling laptops on the market. It is a power packed laptop with the RTX A5000 GPU. Now in this video, we're gonna be getting into the ins and outs of the design and functionality of the laptop. And we'll be doing the performance benchmarks in a future video. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. And if it's already out, I will link it up at the end of this video. Here is our power adapter, 230 watt power adapter. And now let's go ahead and get this laptop out of the box. Now, one thing I will say about HP and specifically the ZBook products is as nice as the ZBook products are, the packaging is, I don't know, just kind of uneventful. Um, and I know you might say, well, as soon as I open it, it's gonna be gone and I'll probably throw it away. Yeah, and that, that is possibly true, you know, because we don't really, most people don't hang on to packaging. But you gotta think about when you unbox an Apple laptop or an Asus laptop, like there's an experience that comes with it that you don't just wanna kinda of toss the materials aside. So if I were gonna give one kind of nod to HP, it'd be just kinda of up the packaging game a little bit so you can have more of an experience when you open your laptop. Now, this is no thin and light laptop. It is definitely a sturdy workstation. Now, it's not going to have the gamer vibes that we see on other laptops, so we have very nice Bottom cover fitting into side panels, but I mean, just look at how big that rounded edge is there. This is a serious laptop. Now, what is this here? I think we can actually unlock. Oh, it's like an unlock. So you can get your, hmm, interesting. If you unlock that, and that allows this part of the bottom cover to pop off, if I'm not mistaken. All right, what have I done? What have I done already getting into this crap? <laughs> All right, we're gonna take the bottom cover off later. So I'm gonna leave that there um, and we'll pull the bottom cover off later, but I think that allows you to just pop off. Yep, there we go. All right, well, look at it now. So you can literally just pop off that bottom cover so easily. Like, look, that's it, done. And then we can go ahead and you have one, two, three, four SSDs and four RAM sticks that are upgradable. This laptop is absolutely insane. I mean, just look at this. That is why it's so thick because you have the standard motherboard that comes on the laptop and then they have all this customization that can take place. And later in the video, I'm gonna take apart all this and check out the upgrade path and what it takes to upgrade this laptop. But for now, I'm gonna slide the bottom cover back on. But that was really cool to see that you just, bam slide that right off. That's incredible. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the laptop. You can see the basic ZBook design. The Fury is definitely their powerhouse edition. They have the Studio, which is thinner and lighter. So if you're wanting something a little more thin, light, on the go friendly, I would check out the Studio. But this is their workstation powerhouse. Now you can see on the left side of the chassis, we have our SD card reader. We have HDMI. Display port, two USB type C's, and a power adapter. Now the display port is nice because you have multiple ways in which you can hook up two displays, HDMI display port, and USB-C. So there's a lot of connectivity options with this laptop. And of course, on the other side, you have your security chip that you can insert, and that allows you to lock down the computer. And unless you have that security card, you cannot access this computer. So that's really great uh, when you're you know working with high-level clearance or just really secretive projects. Now the next thing would be headphone jack, two USB. B type A's, a network port, and of course your Kensington lock. The chassis design is very nice though. I love the aluminum top cover, this big bezel along the back here, really smooth, nice clean design. This thing looks good. All right, now go ahead and open and close the lid with one hand, easily done there, you can see. Now let's go ahead and check out the screen flex as the laptop is powering on. Little bit of screen flex, but not a lot. I mean, that looks good. Plenty of space to rest your palms onto the keyboard deck. Nice large keyboard with the numpad on the right side, full size shift keys, arrow keys. Man, this thing just screams workstation, like you are ready to rock and roll. Now we do have a manual cutoff switch for the webcam. And of course there is a webcam right here on the top bezel with a manual cutoff switch. 
Here's a sample so you can see what that looks like. This is the webcam on the HP ZBook Fury G10 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now the trackpad does have the manual click buttons and the actual trackpad is not clickable itself, but it is going to be touch sensitive. So just keep that in mind. You have the center button to go ahead and navigate around objects and 3D modeling softwares. That's a really nice touch and essential for a serious 3D modeling laptop. The keyboard has a really nice sound to it. It's clean, quiet, has a nice medium key press. So these aren't gonna be long key press keys. Nice medium key press. And then the trackpad, like I said, you're going to have your touch click. So you can see here as I go ahead and select accept, you have the touch click and you also have the main click as well. So there's really nice ability to use both touch and click on this laptop. All right, now let's go ahead and flip the laptop over and fully check out that upgrade path that we were looking at earlier. All right, now let's go ahead and check out that upgrade path. So we're gonna go ahead and flip the laptop over and slide the unlock mechanism, and then just pull the laptop bottom cover toward me or towards you if you have this laptop. That pops off super easily, revealing the 95 watt hour battery. Really unique shape there. And let's go ahead and get this taken apart. All right, so that pops out really easily. So you pull that off there. There's a little heat pad there. And then looking at how there's a tab here. So you pull that tab. And that pops up and there you go. Wow, that is so cool. So the, the model I have here comes with one occupied and you can see there's a double decker on each side. That is super cool. So you have one below, one above, one below, one above. Amazing. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can check out the RAM. Okay, and that pops out super easily. Um, and as we can see there, so it's like reverse. So if you're upgrading this laptop, you can see that there's one above and one below. And that's very standard of desktop PCs. You know, in desktop PCs, they do every other. So it's kind of that same thing. So if you're upgrading this laptop and you only have two in here, you want to do the one above and one below. But if you're putting all four in, obviously just load it up with four. So fantastic upgrade path on this laptop. There's so much more that you could pull apart here, um, but I am not going to in this video right now. I am gonna just keep it with the upgrade path. But you can see there's the CPU. So you have the CPU right below here, if I'm not mistaken. The GPU is right about here. And so there's definitely even access to those parts. Now, can you upgrade those parts? That is something I'm not going to confirm or deny at this moment, but I will circle back in the full review and talk about the deeper upgrade opportunity of this laptop if it does exist. Remember, links in the description if you are ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos, or if it's already out, check out the full review right there.